This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. 6.53, time to get you ready for Thursday with the Morning Sprints. Mark Peterson is tracking some mild temperatures in today's forecast. And Olivia Roberts has an update on back-to-school plans for Spokane students this fall. But first to some breaking news about the state of our economy. For the first time since March, jobless claims fell below 1 million. The latest report from the Labor Department shows more than 960,000 people across the country filed new unemployment claims last week. That's down about 200,000 from the week before. The school plans are becoming official for many students in Spokane. Spokane Schools Board of Education approving the district's plan to start virtually two weeks later than expected. The district assuring parents the delay will help smooth out this year's back to school transition. Spokane school staff will use those two extra weeks for training on remote learning, social emotional learning and safety. The week before school starts on September 14th, families will have the chance to meet with teachers. But before then, families will need to decide on a learning program for the year. One option, learning remotely until schools are safe to reopen again. The second, a full year of remote learning. Many Spokane families still have questions about distance learning and tonight, some will be answered during the district's weekly webinar. It starts at 6.30. The Seattle School Board has unanimously voted to begin the academic year remotely. That plan approved yesterday will allow for the exploration of outdoor classes and reinforces teaching of black and tribal studies. But the plans are far from set because Seattle Public Schools is still bargaining with the teachers union over how teachers will spend their time and what support the district will provide for online learning. There will be no in-person classes at Eastern Washington University after the Thanksgiving holiday. Instead, the university says most courses will be offered online as part of its Max Flex approach, which gives students the choice of living on or off campus while taking classes online or in person when it is safe to do so. Back to school plans this fall differ depending on where your kid goes to school. It can be confusing trying to figure out just what your child will be doing this fall. Uh, you, we have you covered, though, on all things back to school on KXY.com. Check out our homepage and bookmark the back to school special section to keep up to date on back to school topics this fall. Uh, good morning, everyone. Your first alert weather for the day is going to be the fact that we'll have afternoon sunshine. We see the clouds on the move and we see the back side of that as those move out of the area. Sun comes in, it'll warm up, but it will still be below average. Right now we're sitting at 49 degrees, 42 in Deer Park, 49 in Moses Lake, and even cooler as you head further north, 38 now into Newport. We're warming up into the mid 70s. We'll have more on the forecast coming up. News overnight, a massive wildfire burning out of control near Los Angeles. The lake fire near Lake Hughes started late last night and exploded to 10,000 acres. An aerial attack has done little to stop the spread. 500 firefighters are either already working the fire or are on the way. It's not clear how much damage the fire has caused already, but homes have been destroyed and about 100 homes have been ordered to evacuate. Firefighters in Oregon are working to put out a wildfire that erupted in the Columbia River Gorge last night, roughly five miles east of Hood River. Governor Kate Brown invoked an emergency act saying 300 homes are threatened by the Mosier Creek fire, which quickly grew to 500 acres. Washington state election officials say there was a huge turnout for this year's primary. In fact, more people voted in this primary than in the last 50 years. There are 4.6 million voters in Washington and 55% cast ballots this uh, last week. That could mean a record-breaking turnout in November. Political experts from WSU say a high turnout usually means a high level of fear from voters. Moses Lake police have arrested 30-year-old Martin Diaz after a bag of human remains was found in his bedroom in Quincy. Diaz's family reported it to police. He was arrested by Moses Lake PD near the Big Five on Stratford Road after a short chase. You can read more details of this story right now on KXOY.com. If you need a free face mask, the city of Coeur d'Alene is hosting another free mask giveaway this afternoon. It is in Cherry Hill Park from 3 to 6. This event is the second for the Stop the Spread Wear a Mask campaign led by several organizations with the goal of keeping Kootenai County open and healthy. All right, coming up next on Good Morning America, dentists across the country are taking on the World Health Organization over its new recommendation that people put off routine checkups until more is known about COVID-19 and how it could end up or spread during procedures. Dentists have been experts in infection control for over 20 years due to the HIV AIDS scare back in the 80s. So we're used to preparing our offices for infections disease control. 
The American Dental Association says with appropriate PPE, patients and professionals can safely operate. We'll be right back.